YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to a brand new Funko review. I've been kind of tossing and turning how I want to present this video to you guys, my audience. I want it to be a very special video, mainly because when I picked this guy up here, the 10-inch chrome Mandalorian pop with child, I picked it up during my honeymoon when I went up to the Hollywood, California store, the Funko store. I picked it up on a big toy hunt haul. Uh, you can click the link above my head here for that particular video. It's part one of a three-part series where I talked about the Funko Hollywood store. I grabbed this guy, I was carrying him around for a good chunk of the video, and he's a very, very cool pop. I figured, you know what, it's a perfect time to talk about the 10-inch pop here, because he's really, really neat, especially with season two of Mandalorian just kicking off now. This is a really, really cool pop, and I think it's neat. Uh, this is not, of course, this is sort of a comparison to the little standard pop, which is pros and cons between the big 10-inch one and the small scale version. There are differences between those two pops. I don't want to get into kind of any details with it right now. I want to save that smaller pop for a different review, different video. But this guy is super cool. I really think he's really, really neat, but there's one kind of stark problem with it. Just looking at the pop on the surface, because I haven't cracked into this guy yet as far as recording of this video. I don't even know the good or bad with it, but one thing is a glaring problem, which we'll talk about in the breakdown portion of this video, because it's unexcusable. They should have caught this or should have did something about it, and you'll make perfect sense we talk about in the breakdown. Speaking of breakdown, we're going to do a full breakdown of this guy. We'll look at the packaging as a whole. We'll look at the paint articulation and conclude the final thoughts for you, the viewer. Should you spend the money and pick up the 10-inch Mandalorian Chrome Pop with Child? Stay tuned, guys. We're going to a breakdown. All right, guys, we're in a breakdown segment looking at the Chrome 10-inch Mandalorian Pop with Child Pop number 380. And the very first thing we do in the breakdown segment is look at the packaging and presentation. Of course, the obvious piece about this pop is the scale size. This is a 10-inch pop. This is a standard size pop. The, of course, this is the standard version of the Mandalorian with Child, the 10-inch version, the Chrome version, which is the only version he really comes in. But I want to show the, the scale differential between this and this. It's very obvious is that this guy here, the Chrome Mandalorian, is much taller than the standard size pop. So we'll take him out of the shot right now and just focus mainly on Mando. Very, very cool pop. It does follow the same type of structure that a pop has. You have pop number right here, the pop logo basically. Star Wars at the very top. Pop number 380. A shot of Mandalorian right here on the side. It does say the Mandalorian with child at the bottom. A great shot of him on inside the window box. He is Chrome. You might come across a little weird from the lights hitting the Chrome metallic finish on it so it might give this weird set of lights that dance off the pop looks very very cool over here a nice little side shot of the pop over on this side of course it's a standard size box and well taking the standard size box to the extreme rather you have the mandalorian with child number 380 and the back of the packaging showcases all the pops that would be available in that particular wave but does have pop here the uh number 380 top mando right here star wars again all the pops listed here i love the way this guy looks he looks really really good again bringing in the other pop here just again for size comparison this guy here towers over the standard size pop so let's get this guy out of package and cue the breakdown segment all right, guys, we have a 10-inch Chrome Mandalorian pop with child out of packaging. The next thing we do in the breakdown, we take a pop out of packaging, is look at the paint and articulation. Very first thing, right off the bat, it's very, very easy to tell why this pop is very cool. It's the kind of chrome color you see on the pop. Anywhere you would see, which would be silver, is chrome. It's vacuum metal, and it's sort of vacuum formed to give this chrome look, this metallic look. And it looks really, 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 really cool. I love the way this thing looks. It looks very, very cool on a shelf. It stands out on a shelf. This pop should be taken out of packaging. It should not be left in packaging. So let's really get up close and take a look at this guy here. He looks really, really cool. Again, you might have this weird glow come off of him just because my lights are hitting him in a very, very weird way. The very con, you know, the very, very stark nature of the helmet from Mandalorian. Um, it looks really, really cool. All design features on it. You can see the buckles on the side. You can see the back of it right here where you see the, the seam right here in the back of it. The seam runs up the helmet too right there. Uh, he is a bobblehead. You see it shaking right there. There's a big honking spring. You can see it right there on the inside. There is a fingerprint magnet, so definitely be careful. You might have to take a rag to it every once in a while if you touch it. Just be aware of that. He is holding the child in his right arm, would be left from your side here. Looks really, really cool. I love it because really it's two characters in one. If you really think about it, you're getting the Mandalorian as well as the child right here. Looks really, really cool. His sort of firearm, that big cool rifle he has is across his back. I'll kind of spin him around. You can see his cape. You can see it right there sticking out his back. So he has this kind of slung over his shoulder. You see the stock right here and a sort of pitchfork, the, 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 
the, I guess like a tuning fork you'd call it, in the front here. He looks really, really good. Again, he has the uh, shiny uh, leggings right here, the knee pads. His gauntlet right here has some shine to it too. The uh, pauldron, which would have the uh, the mud horn. I think he should have the symbol, but I don't know if you have the symbol here. I don't think he does here. There's no symbol, but the, normally the mud horn would be reflected on the shoulder pad right here, the pauldron. He just looks really, really good. I love the way he looks. Before I talk about the negative about this, I want to bring in his little buddy here, the smaller version of the Mandalorian, mainly because this is kind of like the same figure, kind of, sort of, but he, of course, holding the child in a different hand, his left arm. He is in a jet, uh, jet flight pose. Um, I'm going to do a full review of this guy by himself and do some cares, uh, comparison between this one and this one, but this is really focusing on the 10-inch pop, not the smaller one. I'm really bringing him out here for the sense of scale. This guy is at 10 inches. This is a standard size pop. You can see the, differ the difference between this and this. That's the idea I'm trying to make here in this portion of the breakdown. Definitely looks really, really cool. Love the way this guy looks. I'll have him spin around on my turntable here for a second so you can kind of get take in the coolness of this character. Love the cape, kind of flapping in the back. I didn't mention that before, sort of billowing behind him. Love the way this guy looks. Definitely a very uh, cool looking pop, something that would definitely catch someone's eye on a shelf. I highly recommend this pop. Now, the only big negative, take this guy away here, the only big negative that I see with this pop, it's a piece that I don't know why the people over at Funko or with Star Wars, why they do this. Just a little bit of tender love and care, a little TLC would have fixed this and taken this pop from good to great. And right here's the problem. This is the same issue they did on the Boba Fett 10 inch one right here. That's the Star Wars logo. You're having black letters that are embossed on a black base. It's very difficult to see the word Star Wars here. They should have made these letters with a white rub on top of it, like a brush rub, a dry rub in white over it. It would look so much better having the black base with the white letters as opposed to a black base with black text. That is the biggest negative I would say with this pop. And with that being said, guys, I highly recommend the 10 inch Funko Chrome Mandalorian pop with child. Definitely pick this guy up and add it to your collection. And with that being said, let's go to final thoughts and wrap up this video. All right, guys, final thoughts on the 10 inch Chrome Mandalorian pop with child, pop number 380. Should you add this guy to your collection? Price point, I believe, was $30 US. Um, you want to ask yourself a big question here. Are you a Star Wars fan? Do you like the Mandalorian TV show? Do you like Baby Yoda, which is his nickname, of course, otherwise known as the child? Um, definitely pick this guy up if it kind of checks all those boxes. Me, it was very, very important to pick this guy up because I liked the TV show. I picked him up on my honeymoon. This was definitely a home run hit out of the park. Again, the biggest problem I had was the lettering at the bottom here. We talked about it on the breakdown. The lettering here should have been in white. I don't know why they didn't do that. I do love the chrome accents on this. We took all the silver and made it chrome, highly polished vacuum metal. Uh, vacuum form basically is what they did here. Again, I talk about this guy over here, the smaller version, pop number 402. Just as a size comparison, 10 inch, standard size pop. There's different sculpt between this one and this one. We're going to talk more about this guy in another video. But all in all, a really, really cool pop. I love the way he looks. He looks really, really cool holding, of course, Baby Yoda, the child, in his little blanket. He's holding it in his arm. I mentioned that in the breakdown segment. Love the way this guy looks. Looks awesome. Sitting on a shelf, very much will draw attention to any person's collection on a shelf. Definitely take this guy out of the package. He should not be put in a box. Definitely take him off card. If my personal opinion, definitely take him off card. He should be displayed on a shelf. If you get the small one, definitely side by side. Perfect example of a big pop next to a small one. Again, perfect idea to break into the 10 inch size scale. I only have a few 10 inch pops in my collection. I think I have about a half a dozen, mainly because they take up a lot of space. They take up a lot, it's the, the footprint might be a little small, but they're very, very tall compared to a standard size pop like this. So definitely is a buy in my personal opinion, about $30 US. Remember to click the like button on the page, click the subscribe button picture my face. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, kind of be notified of my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care guys, see you next video. And bye-bye.